Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi guys. I'm Claire. And I'm Katie. If you don't already, please subscribe below. Uh, so today we are doing a Topshop haul for you. So um, first of all, please excuse my voice. I have a really bad cold and I keep losing my voice so you will have to bear with me. So yeah, today we're doing a Topshop haul for you guys. So um, recently they had the 20% uh, off which was obviously amazing. Yeah. Uh, so both myself and Katie ordered a lot of stuff. Plus, if you watched our last week's video, you will know that we had a Topshop personal shopping appointment in the Traffic Centre store with Sarah, uh, and we got like a few bits from there as well. So we just thought, what better way to start like off going into the new season by doing you a haul and talking about some of the pieces that we got for you? Yeah. So we are going to run through quick, <laughs> run through quickly what is on the rail. Um, I can't speak today, I don't have any <laughs> excuses, but yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. This, I feel like this is always my excuse, but yeah. anyway, we're going to run through what's on the rail for you, show you um, how we're going to style each piece and just talk you a little bit through each of the items that we've chosen. Yeah. Um, we're going to do about five pieces each and yeah, let's, a little let's try on for you. Let's start. Okay, so my first item is a top. Uh, so again, if you follow us, you will know that we are going to Paris in a couple of weeks. Uh, so a lot of this has been shopping for our Paris wardrobes. And I picked up this I little like this. one shoulder polka dot satin frill number. In the, um, I bought this online when they had 20% off. Now this also comes in with a matching skirt and they do a dress as well. So there's lots of different options for this. I bought just the top, I am considering the skirt so that I can get the dress vibe, but then split them as well. But um, the top I absolutely love on, it's this, um, it's like a satiny, it's a sort of off-white cream colour with black polka dots. I feel like it's very Parisian. Very I feel Parisian, very Parisian yeah. when I wear it. Um, I would style this just with like these are my bleach raw hem top chop straight leg jeans. I feel like I, I would style these with these and I also have the, um, the top shop black leather strippy sandals. So I feel like that is a really good outfit vibe. Uh, you could also again get this with the matching skirt or style this with like maybe like a, a different like a black skirt, maybe yeah, like a leather skirt like and like even dress look. it up if you want to even yeah. look. But I think I would very much wear this casually with like my straight leg jeans, strippy sandals, little black leather handbag, um, like a handheld bag or a clutch. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with this. Oh, Very Parisian, all of yeah. the Parisian polka dot bags, which is kind of my theme at the minute. I've gone polka dot crazy. You have gone polka so, dot crazy. There's only a couple of polka dot pieces here, but yeah, I've bought a lot of polka dot lately. Yeah, that is my yeah, first one. I'm going to show you a little pop of colour here. So I'm sure everyone follows the I love that this is our pop of colour. <laughs> it's like the most neutral, muted colour ever. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so if I, I'm sure everyone's aware if you follow on Instagram the brand Hunza G, which is a swimsuit brand, but Topshop have very cleverly brought out a bodysuit version of one of their swimsuits that, that they do. Um, it was literally like £19 it was, I mean £19 for this, like it, obviously if you can see that a little bit close up, I don't know if that's going to pick up, but in person, like I feel like for the price, it's so thick, but not too thick that you'd be like sweating in it. The if colour that makes is really sense. beautiful as well. It is a gorgeous colour. It's like a very um, like soft orange colour. It's like gold almost. Yeah. It, they also do this in black and like a khaki, khaki. olive green yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to actually be wearing this like Claire with her top that she's just showed you. I'm going to be wearing with like a, a blue denim jean again from Topshop because we're obsessed with the straight leg jeans. Um, and then I'm thinking of throwing on a pair of tavers for daytime and then just like a nice little crossbody bag. So very like simple chic outfit. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, yes, tapers are like the ones I'm obsessed dance. with. But that's not um, yeah. Emma Hill wore them and they basically sold out everywhere. Yeah. Me and Katie both managed to get a pair, thankfully. Um, they're basically like, they are not for everyone. They are like a basic black Velcro, like they're made for like walking. They are like walking on clouds. They are. So, so I would cool. highly recommend the tapers. Yeah, if you can get your hands on a pair, and the pair, absolutely do it. For one shoulder vibes as well, by the way. Yes. All about the one shoulder. Always accidentally doing shit like this. <laughs> um, so yeah, one shoulder, straight leg jeans. Sorry, I should have said as well, this one was £25 and I bought it in size 16 because again, 
rascals <laughs> you always have boob issues with top shop um, I so i have to size up in this i bought this one in a size six it's got a lot of stretching actually so i don't i don't really think you need to size up at all just get your true size um but i'm really excited to wear this it's a shame that i bought it so close towards the end of summer because it could have got a lot more wear out of this but i'm thinking of even throwing it on with like a pair of leather shorts faux leather of course um and like a nice strippy sandal if I wanted to do more of an evening look. But my next item is this beautiful creature. Oh, oh I'm my obsessed God. with this colour, it's so good. Now, you will all know that I am obsessed with a blazer. I feel like 90% of my outfits are worked around a blazer. Every colour imaginable is in my wardrobe. And then I see this beauty in top show. Oh my God, like I can't even begin to explain the quality of this blazer. It feels so expensive it does. and looks like it was £56, which I think is an absolute bargain for how expensive it looks with like these black buttons. Yeah, I should mention as well that this and I have another blazer on the rail. Um, both really similar, I think they might be the same <laughs> in different colours. No one knew the <laughs> Probably are. Um, they came actually as part of a suit. Um, so you could buy, you could mix and match and buy the, um, it was like a straight midi, uh, mini skirt. Okay. So it was very, um, like very 90s, very like, like power dress. Very like clueless, yeah. almost like Sheer Horowitz vibes with the like structured blazer and the mini skirt. Mm -hmm. uh, but then in like a lot more neutral colour tones and like a neutral colour palette, it's really nice. But this with these black buttons, like, it's just, it's so useful on. It, again, I would sell this with basically everything. <sighs> so you could buy the matching skirt and wear it that way. Wear it as I do my everyday outfits with just a plain white or black t-shirt with some straight leg jeans. Probably with this colour, I would actually do with the these bleached straight leg jeans and a white or black t-shirt underneath. And again, I could wear it with sandals. I could wear it with like my um, my, my Vasia trainers. Or I could dress this up and wear it with the strippy sandals. Yeah, I just want to like, I just need to reiterate the absolute <sighs> quality of this blazer. It is beautiful. Uh, I got this in a size 18. Now I like to size up like two. So I'm normally in Topshop a size 14. And in a lot of the tops and shirts that don't have a lot of give, I tend to size up to a 16 just because I get a lot of like pulling around the boob area in blazers. I like to wear them oversized. I don't like them to look fitted, so I always go up two sizes and buy a size 18. So I feel like wearing a fitted blazer just isn't a thing anymore. And I just don't think it looks right on me. No. It looks like it's too workwear, like yeah. formal. It's just so much better to go oversized. I think for like I'm just much more an oversized yeah. person. I like everything to that that oversized vibe. So I always size up two sizes in a blazer. So I always buy size 18, especially when it's like this and it's like a structured blazer. Yeah. I want that oversized boxy cut, sort of almost like a men's blazer look. Yeah. So I like it to fit like boxy, not fit as it in at the waist. So yeah, sized up two sizes in this one. Yeah, and this comes as I say in different colours, but I'm pretty sure I bought the same one in a different colour. We show you see. in a minute. <laughs> TB, uh, TBC. TBC. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so my next item, I'm going to throw a little bit of prints in here, um, is this just a very basic boxy tea. So it's very similar to the one that I've got on right now. Now, if you watched our Topshop um, personal shop appointment from last week, we did mention that we feel like Topshop have gone a little bit different in the way that they're using the fabric for these teas. So they definitely change the fabric yeah they don't feel as um how do i say it so i feel like this is a lot more softer so that when it when it sits on your body it kind of like feels a lot looser and almost drapes a little bit more if that makes any sense these so ones are a lot stiff. more yeah these are a lot stiffer and like a little bit more yeah. structured the two um, in the same t-shirts uh, as oh well God. almost oh no i have the raw sleeve one katie does not <laughs> so this is basically a boxy version of the tea um, but obviously in this gorgeous print and i feel like we're very print heavy lately we are very print heavy which is which, unusual yeah very me. unusual for both of us i feel like yeah because we normally go for i mean i tend neutrals. to always do an animal print there's always an animal print in there that's but very neutral but for me to wear like an animal print top that's very yeah unlike me so mm -hmm. but this is just like a simple item that you can wear with so many things i mean I don't have the tag on anymore, but I'm pretty sure it was only like £16 or something like that. Um, but it's one of those that you can just wear all year round in any season. 
you can style it up over night time if you want to do nice like mini skirts or a pair of shorts. You want to do like a satin midi, a pair of heels. Um, I feel I, like this would look really good in the winter with your top shop full of the leggings. Yeah. And like your chunky new balance trainers. Yeah. So and, like, like more a, of like a street a kind of jacket. Look. Yeah. But the way that I'm going to be wearing it in Paris and you guys in a couple of weeks time. I've got like a black skirt from Reformation with like a split up the leg and I'm going to be wearing it with that and my tapers and like a little boxy bag mm. and I put the outfit on and I'm really excited about it so that's how I'm going to be styling it. So stay tuned for the Paris style vlog. Paris style vlog. all coming. these outfits yes. in action with um, all the Parisian backdrops. But just for, just for a bog and I think it's such a good piece to just frame into your wardrobe. <coughs> you're basically going to be able to wear it with all of your current. Or if you, with with Diet Coke. <laughs> Not sponsored by Diet Coke, as you know. I wish. Um, yeah, so it's one of those you can just inject into your wardrobe and you'll be able to probably put it with so many pieces that you already have. And then for £16, like I said, such a bargain. I got this in an extra small, um, small, so they only do like the two sizes. The other one is obviously medium to large, but it is quite oversized already, so I just say stick to your smaller size if you would normally go between like a six and a ten and then vice versa for medium and large but yeah i like this one so my next item is it's a hundred percent the same it's blazer the same it's one. the same exact blazer <laughs> but in this gorgeous biscuity toned neutral color i love this Sorry, one i, love that you I can't that. decide which one i love more i've literally got the same blazer twice and again this one comes with the matching like little mini skirt um, we will. I'll link like the um, both. We'll link everything below for you, obviously. But on the when you click on this link, you will see that the in the recommended products underneath or the way with it has the matching skirt. So if anyone wanted to buy it as a suit or have a look at that vibe, I'll link that for you as well. But yeah, same blazer again. It's beautiful quality. It looks so much more expensive than it is, and yeah, I'm just obsessed. And anyone who knows. Especially if you follow us regularly, if you know me, it knows that I love a biscuit toned. I'm all about these nude, neutral, biscuity, ugh, I can't know what colours. Love, obsessed, wear this with absolutely everything. Uh, <laughs> it's gorgeous. You always try and get me to go for these colours as well. But yeah, so I always try and like them. make you wear like these colours. And it's like camel, tan, biscuity, oatmeal, like ecru, off-white. Obsessed, and I never used to be. I used to be like, very much black, 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 black. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fully embracing the neutral zones lately. This is just the blazer of dreams in both colours. It's gorgeous. I actually can't say which one. They're gorgeous. It's a tough decision. They're just both. Nice. They're both equally unbelievable. Yeah. Love this. So yeah, again, I would wear this with everything. But most commonly, I will probably wear it again with like my straight leg jeans plain white t-shirt i feel like this is more of like this kind of vibe with the light jeans yeah. white t-shirt again i can dress it down or up with flat sandals trainers dress it up with any um, some like stroopy sandals or a heel so yeah i love that a blaze can like this can just bring such a basic um basic outfit together yeah so like just like jeans and tea. this is why i love the blazer it just yeah. like even if you are just in a jeans and t-shirt and you are super casual but you just want to elevate that look a little bit more Throw on a blazer. Even throw over your shoulders, just you yeah. know, for a bit more of a statement. Like it's just so simple. Wear them with everything: skirts, yeah. shorts, jeans. We love a blazer. Over a dress. Yeah, I love a blazer over a dress as well. Like if you if you into like little yeah. mini dresses, throwing a blazer on over a dress is just like such a good outfit for like a night out. I do that often with a black yeah. blazer. Just so. Yeah. yeah. All about the blazer. Repping the blazers as Rep always. So yeah. Love this. Again, same price as the other one. It's exactly the same one. We'll link everything below. Yeah. And again, I sized up two sizes like I always do on my Top Shop blazers. I like it really oversized. So this one is an A size 80. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to switch this up a little bit for you and bring in an accessory that I bought recently. Now, as per usual, if you have watched any of our previous hauls, <laughs> You will know that if me and Claire ever buy a Topshop bag, we have to buy the same bag. Ta-da! This happens quite a lot. It does. Well, sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's totally accidental. This one I would say was... This was 100% on purpose. Oh, this was on purpose, yeah. Yeah, we were in our Topshop personal shopping appointment. This was in my fit. 
this was in your fitting room? Yes, this was in my fitting room. This is in Claire's fitting room. And I Katie stood away and took it into her fitting room. <laughs> and then I was like, can I have one of those again as well? Yeah. And we both bought these bags. We, we did consider one of us buying it and the other one buying a different one and then swapping and changing with them. We were just oh. like, this, which we did do in one of the other bags that you're about to see in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to like borrow each other's. Um, so we both do have another bag. Uh, but we thought we can't buy three bags each. <laughs> the thing is, that was with But we bought two bags each and one of them matched. The reason we didn't buy just one of these is because, I mean, if you just look at it, so here's a little bit more detail. So obviously you've got this gold bar, which you can just hold, and then you've got the long strap, and then it has this gorgeous little black marble clasp at the front. But, which is actually very easy as far as clasps go. Yeah, you Normally, just literally tear I and it I hate a clasp, let me show you, but I'll um, ignore my awful nails that I can't done next week. So you literally just clip and twist, and it comes like this. Normally clasps are really awkward, so yeah. It's a good this gave me and Claire like vibes it's, on a budget. It's so like a budget dupe for yeah. the Celine It. Is it the It box bag? Or the classic box bag? Anyway, but yeah, they do a box bag and they do it in like plain black, they do it in a gorgeous mm -hmm. colour. Um, but this is like such a good dupe for it is. Um Also, can I just say about this strap? I don't know why this like, this is good, but it kind of like comes through. Yeah, it's in my whole isn't it? And also, so you do it's not have, fully, like you do have the little studs there, which you can. You can take it out. It's like a belt inside. It's looped through. Yeah. So you can take this out if you do, if you wanted to have it as handheld. And also, what is really good about this? I only just thought about this. Wow. If you wanted to, because it has this like belt loop, you can see when it pulls through and it's not attached to the bag anyway. Like you could fully take this off and customize it. So yeah. you could, if you wanted to, maybe add. A chain strap, you could just thread it through that loop. Maybe you have like a gold chain. That's true, actually. You could alternate. This is so clever. Why are why all that? This? this was only about £29, wasn't it? £29, £29. Yeah, it was. £29. So that's such a bargain, the fact that you can kind of like adjust the strap yourself, put in your own one. And also, it looks so expensive. It does come with an extra um, hole as well, so if you want to make the strap a little bit shorter or longer, you can do that. It's very easy to use with like i would say a daytime or a nighttime outfit um i have already used this once before because i couldn't help myself obviously with this but yeah, yeah i feel like it. it's it's really good um for like handheld it doesn't feel like this it's too close to the bag so it's not awkward to no, hold in your hand nice to hold, it's yeah. also a good length to have on the shoulder and cross body yeah like it works both ways yeah this one's we're definitely going to Paris with both of us, so like, we're not even going to be sharing this one, we're just going to be... Yeah, that's why we both had to buy it, it because it's yeah. just so amazing. It's a really good size inside as well, but yeah, it's a really good length for cross and over the shoulder, because you can what? adjust it, you can change the strap, it's a really good size inside. What other colour does this come in? It comes in a snake print. A snake print, yeah. yes, which we did have in last week's video. Um, this would be beautiful in nude. It wasn't. It I was say this nice was in, but it would be beautiful in nude. It was nice in the snake skin, but I feel like I this looks so much more expensive. It. Yeah, it's more clean. The snake print is like, oh, that's a nice bag. This is like, <gasps> yeah, this bag is to die for. It's beautiful. So I think we need to stop talking about this bag. Yeah, <laughs> we're having a fangirl moment on the bag. Fangirl moment mm -hmm. over this bag. So well, yeah. well done, Top Shop, for that. Love it. So my next item is a dress which hardly ever happens to me but this all of a sudden happen. recently i have been at the right old age things. of 31 <laughs> become a dress person i've always been more of a trouser person even on like a night out i will wear a trouser suit with like blazer and matching trousers yeah. i'm very much not a dress person do you know what I think it was? The fact that you went into midi skirts when they came out. Yeah, because I, I never used to be a skirt the, person until a few months ago. That was the transition. When like the satin mini, yeah. satin, satin mini, satin midi skirts came out in the top shop. I became a midi skirt person, which I never thought I would be. And now, now you're a dress person. I'm a dress person. Yeah. To the point that I've been wearing, possibly in a regular working week, just as many dresses as I have jeans. Ooh. Which I never happens. This is ever. Really short behavior. We've had really hot, like humid weather here. Yeah, it's been like yeah. crazy weather. Even when it's been raining, it's been like ridiculously hot and humid. Yeah. Um. So I've been buying a lot of these like flowy dresses. Now me, I have big boobs, a big bum. I have a bit of a belly. I'm just like flowy dresses. They're just gonna make me look big and make me look pregnant. 
But no, this dress, this is possibly my favourite dress I have ever owned. Oh really? It is Luffer. beautiful. So this, unfortunately, I'm going to link it below, but I think it might be sold out. Mm, so I, yeah. I will, um, I think they may have like a six left or a four or something. Last time I looked, but I think it might be sold out now. Um, so I will try and link an alternative for you guys. But it's basically just like a polka dot, like tiered frill maxi dress. And it's just like this open collar with these two little ties. I just leave these open, they didn't look right tied on me. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Again, gone crazy with the polka dot, it's very Parisian vibes. I'm really looking forward to wearing this in Paris. Just imagine floating down the street from this dress. Oh, it's just so pretty and floaty. But yeah, I would start with, with again, just like, um, Probably my Vegas or my Tavis, just flat. I don't think I would dress this one up. No, I wouldn't. It's just, I, it's not a dressy vibe for me. It's very much casual that I would wear every day. Uh, definitely be wearing this in Paris, so look out for that. Uh, but yeah, again, flats, flat sandals, or just my plain white Vegas trainer transmits. And just do this very, very casual. I think it's one of those dresses that you need to make it look cool. Yeah. With a I feel like if I try to do like, a high heel and maybe like a belt and a clutch bag, I feel like it would look almost a bit on the mumsy. I, like, I don't want to say mumsy, I want to say like it would age frumpy. Yeah. yeah, it would age yeah, for Because it's so frilly and I feel like if I tried to make it, it's so frilly and polka dotty and girly. I feel like if I tried to make it girly, I would like and even a bag of heels, it yeah. just wouldn't work. And if you did like the necktie up as well. And tie the neck up, it'd just be a bit yeah. frumpy and frilly and too girly. You're and it's not very me. Nice. So I think I need to make it like cooler and a bit more casual. A bit more edgy bit as more well. Edgy. I think this is definitely one that I'll be styling through into winter and trying to wear again with a leather jacket or a coat and some boots and stuff. So yeah, definitely become a staple piece and I am obsessed with this. Okay, so next up, I'm going to show you another bag. Another um, bag. Again, this is a bag that me and Claire both bought. No, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you did this was, this one. Okay, so this is the one that we almost bought the same one as yes. well, but then decided because I have another bag that I bought, which I wasn't going to show you to the end, but I'll show you this one now. Right. So I bought this bag. Yeah, that was and, good, actually. Yeah, like, you liked this one, and I liked this one, and we both liked the box bag, and I was like, we can't buy three bags each of the same bag, so we compromised. We did compromise. And we both bought the box bag because that was the one that we absolutely adored and thought we'd get the most yeah, one. Yeah. The one that we thought we'd use the most. And then we picked one each of these two and bought one each and we're just going to alternate and borrow each other's. Yeah. So let's start with this one. So it's unusual for me to go for silver details, but I really love the detail in this bag. So just show you a little bit closer. You've got, it's like a drawstring at the top, so it goes a little bit more slouchy on this bit, but this bit is like really sturdy. And then obviously to pull in the drawstring, you've got the two chains with like the little- It's like a structured box bag and a bucket, like soft it's bucket bag that had a baby. Yes. And it's a little mini. Because you will know that me and Claire also have the, like the- The clear like purse bags. Like the purse bags ones. And we were absolutely obsessed with that and like the detail of the chain. I feel like actually these are the babies of that because the chain on this is the same as the uh, the thingy bag. The, why can't I say it? Bucket bag. The bucket bag. And, this and is also like a little the bit shape. of the... This is going back. Um, oh, well. It's like before I moved health and everything. Do you remember the black acrylic, black and gold acrylic chain? The chain bag that was this shape. Back. Yeah. That had like the chain all over. Yes. That we both got. So clearly we just like the same kind of vibe with our top, bags, our top shop bags. Can't speak. I love how like edgy this one is. With this, this again, I'm not edgy. normally a silver hardware person, but yeah. this feels like almost like on a leather jacket, like on a leather bike jacket. This is like the bag equivalent of a leather bike jacket. Like it you is. would never want gold hardware on a leather bike jacket. It just wouldn't look right. Do you know what's amazing about this as well? Is that this is faux leather and it doesn't look faux leather. No, it looks very really expensive. Like it especially this so, soft bit. Yeah, that soft this leather looked, imitation is amazing. It's so good. Like I'm very impressed with this bag. Obviously you're not gonna get an awful lot in it, but I didn't really carry a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I'm very much like a small bag person for all the mm -hmm. essentials. And then I feel like if you're not, like if you're a very practical bag person, 
yeah. and you want it to like fasten and be really secure and like fit a lot in, you're much better going for like the box bag bag. This is very much a trend fashion piece. This yeah. is not for like your every single day practical use. It's definitely a fashion piece because as I say, this drawstring that Katie showed you is the only fastening. Yeah. It literally just pulls that metal through and there's nothing else. There's no zip, there's no, there's no extra zip inside, inside no. there's no pouches. So if you want something that's like really secure and like a flight, you're better off going for like a box bag. So it this is, is definitely a fashion piece. But again, this will actually now tell a lie. I was gonna say this one is adjustable, but it's actually not. So the But they do clip off. Yeah, so you could again change it. You want to put a silver chain on it or something like that, or change it for a different strap. But if because not, I think it's a good length anyway because I wore this today and I used it as a crossbody and it sat really perfect on me. So I think the way that they've got the strap anyway is they had a really good length. I feel but like it's not a bag you would want to hold like this anyway. No, and you don't have that option anyway because yeah, that's that making you could shorten it. I feel like it's not one that you would have handle. Hand held. Hand hold. <laughs> hand held. Uh, it's very much like a crossbody or yeah, shoulder bag bag, especially because it's a security element. You wouldn't want to hold it like this. Yeah, I've got a very exciting outfit to wear in Paris with this bag in mind, so I'm looking forward to it. I feel like it was about £25 yeah. pounds around about that mark. Um, if you're thinking it's really small, it is. Like, that is how small it is. It but is. again, it fits in all my essentials, and I'm not somebody who carries like a lot of stuff with me throughout the day. I'm not that person who never cleans the bag out because like, I have minimal like me. things inside. I have 97 receipts for yes. two years. I'm not that person. Like I don't I even have, person. I don't own a purse. I have a little card holder. Like I am that. My purse weighs like more than Katie. So the point, <laughs> to the point where I bought a glossier comb off the website, which is about this big, fits perfectly in here. <laughs> but that's all the essentials. Things. Yes. So, obsessed with this bag, can't wait to get wear out of it. And it's going to take me into winter, which is amazing. So, I'm very So, happy. my little extra bag, just as a little extra one, um, is just this little black snakeskin shoulder bag. It's like a good length for your shoulder. Yeah. Like, you can comfortably, it's not like up here, it fits in. It, I love this bag that's coming back. It's very like late 90s, early noughties vibes. It's got a very vintage feel. Yeah, it feels it? very vintage. It feels like very much like a handbag that my mum would have had when I was little. Yeah. Um, and these are all really coming back now. This has got, um, there's a brand called Bifar, uh, and their yes. handbags are about £500 um, that does these. And again, they are like a more affordable version of like uh, Fendi. Like, Baguette bag, but like the vintage baguette bags are all coming back. Like I feel this. like Fendi and Dior have brought yeah, like Fendi and Dior have brought up, back. Yeah, like the classic staples from like I feel like this is like when I was like thirteen. Yeah. And wanted to look dressed up and grown up, and like my older sister or my mom would have a handbag like this shape, and I'd be like, "This is my handbag. I feel <laughs> yeah. like I need to do it like this." But this is all coming back now, they're all very in. So like Fendi and Dior have brought out like this kind of shape of this bag. Uh, and again, by far do some amazing like leather and like snakeskin ones that are like but here's not the like skin that are about 500 pounds. This was 25 quid. Here's the thing though, I would not use one of these bags in the evening. No. Isn't that me, weird? Me too. I feel like it's a day bag. Yeah, I feel like years ago sense. when I wanted to be like dressed a bit like, yeah. Well, when I was like really young and I started like going out at night out when I was yeah. like 16, 17 and sneaking into nightclubs that like before I was bag. 18, yeah. this would have been like my style evening bag. Yeah. Was this or like this size but in a clutch. Oh, I remember the oversized clutches. <laughs> but now I feel like I very much wear this every day going shopping yeah. with like pretty much like this outfit again. White t shirt, jeans, yes. outfit, yeah. pair of trainers, blazer, and this. Um, so, yeah, this is just like a, you can see that it's a shiny black faux snakeskin. And it has this handle, gold. It's like gold, like metal, and then like it almost like a tortoise shell acrylic. I don't know if you can, can you see that? Sort of. Um, like acrylic little chain detail which I love and yeah it's giving me such like by far vibes yeah so if on you want by far budget, on a budget 25 pounds from top shop this they also had a really similar shape one and if you watched our top shop personal shopping video last week you will have seen it I really struggled between the two I ended up going with the black just because it's a staple colour I may go back for the uh, there was a brown one the brown was nice it was beautiful yeah. 
but I feel like I'd get my wear off the black. I'm still considering going getting the brown as well. So if you want this kind of like vibe of like the, the bi like, Fendi. It was a nice brown though. It was like it? a rich, it wasn't like chocolate brown. No. But it wasn't quite tan, it was somewhere in the middle and it was just and that's really hard. expensive. I feel like that's hard for like some brands, um, especially on the high street, they just don't get it right with the brown. I feel like the tan, they always yeah. go extreme tan and I hate it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just over bit. It's so it's hard to get tan thing. right. Yeah. And they've got it really spot on. But yeah, Topshop are doing amazing with their bags at the minute. If you want yeah. like l like budget friendly like designer dupes, these are definitely they've got a lot of these variations in. So yeah. Yes. Bags are very good in Topshop right now. We are bag crazy, me and Claire. Always. <laughs> um right, so my last and final item again is a skirt. <laughs> Safe dresses and skirts. Look at this beauty. Again, print heavy with the animal print, but it's not like a traditional colour leopard print. It's almost like a burnt orange to a brown. Yeah. And it's just this. You again, you will have seen this if you watched our Top Shop personal shopping video last week. This was the like main item that I bought. So it's like um, it's almost like a midi close to a maxi, it's like in between. Yeah. And it has these frills down both sides of the front. This is from the new Top Shop Idol collection. It, so now the ad collection is something that they brought out new this for the upcoming season and the way they describe it is it's like a vintage 80s inspired premium with a premium modern feel yeah uh, and with like rock and roll vibes that's how they describe it to me it is very much reminiscent of kate moss's like older like very first collections yeah with top shop so when it was like at the height of like Kate Moss and Topshop and she did the first collection with like the star print dress that everyone was obsessed with. It is very much that like rock and roll edgy vibe Which and it's pieces you, that you can mix. If you go to the Topshop as well, look at the Idol collection, they do have a star print dress. So yeah, there's a star print dress, there's like a flame print mini yeah. frill dress that is very similar to like the old school Kate Moss vibes. Um, so the whole collection is very much that like yeah. stuff that you can wear with like your leather jacket and like ankle boots coming into autumn winter. It's very Kate Moss circa like 2007. Yeah. It's such a good collection so you should definitely go and check it out. There's lots of amazing pieces in it. This is one of those pieces and I am just obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. I tried it on, colour's amazing, fits really well. I it, there's not a lot of give in this. I did not try this on because I knew I'd want it. I thought me and Claire could not have this many items the same. Like, Which we always do. Um, so yeah, I would just wear this. Uh, again, I would do this casual. Yeah. I would wear this with a plain black t-shirt and some um, like my white beige trainers or my stance mitts with uh, maybe a leather jacket if it was like a bit cooler. Yeah. Um, I would also maybe swap out the trainers for an ankle boot if I wanted to dress this up a bit more in the winter. Like I Right, now we only have one more item to show you and what better way to finish a little top shop haul than With our favourite thing in the world. Straight like Jeep. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so as you know, um, if you've been following me and Claire for a while, you'll know that we're both obsessed with Topshop's denim range, but in particular, the straight leg jeans. In fact, now, I don't think we've ever done a fashion-based blog without or an outfit it. blog without mentioning Top shop straight leg jeans. That is true. Because yeah. we both own them in multiple colours and wear them at least four or five days a week. 100 percent Yeah, like I'm obsessed with all of them. I'm wearing them now. <laughs> but I will say one thing before I show you these ones. It's been a real struggle lately to actually get my hands on my size anymore in the raw hem jeans. I'm like constantly yeah. like refreshing and seeing if they're available. I don't know if that means that they're going to stop doing them or they're Please just don't. waiting for a charge to come in. Please do not stop doing the straight leg raw hem jeans. Because I've worn my raw hem jeans that much in the bleach wash that I now need a new pair. Because that's really not good. Because Which I is want this them. pair? Yeah, they're the pair that Claire has on now. These are quite but new. I got these when there was 20% off as well. And you were very <laughs> lucky to get them because... Yeah, they're very like sparse in availability of sizes at are. the moment in the raw hem. Yes. But they have bought out new... This version. So these are, a, <laughs> these are a clean hem jean. So just show you that in a little bit more detail. So literally just cook clean across the bottom. These give me a very like Kendall Jenner kind of vibe. Yeah. She's very into like a clean, um, a clean hem. Clean hem, is that right? Yeah. A clean hem rather than a raw hem. 
um, and it's one of those items where obviously you can style jeans up with anything but I feel like in particular with this style jean I almost like to go really simple on top so like a simple strap, strappy like black bodysuit, a basic white tee, like I love just going very like neutral simple kind of just letting the shape and the style of the jeans just be the main part of the outfit um, as any other pair of jeans from Topshop, these are £42, which is such a good price because they literally, they last so long, like they yeah. don't go baggy, they don't stretch out too much. I feel like there's such a good, like, happy medium between a skinny jean and a mom jean. Yeah. They just, they tick all boxes. They do. Because I feel like a skinny jean is very limiting, a mom jean is very limiting. Whereas a straight leg jean, you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with heels, trainees, sandals. Yeah. Literally, the possibilities with a straight leg jean are endless. If you, um, I've never bought the Topshop straight leg jeans before. Try them on, definitely. Yeah. Go to the store, try on a couple of different sizes. Do not buy the pair that feels comfortable. Buy the pair that feels a little, a little bit tight. Not like to the point where it's like, <laughs> and I'm like struggling to sit down. Yeah. But I always buy the pair that I struggle a little bit to zip up. Like I can just get them up and they feel a bit stiff. They're not like yeah, taken in anywhere, but they feel like these I only bought a week and a half ago and they felt very stiff when I tried them on. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they need like a little bit of work and I like to move around in them a little bit. And now, like I have room to put like my hand on them. They are very comfortable now, so definitely tip on my hand down them. Yes, lovely Katie. Katie's been a child. <laughs> yes, I can get my hand down them. Um, so yeah, if there is room now yes. and they feel very comfortable, so I would definitely recommend buying the ones that feel a bit snug. If you buy the ones that feel comfortable already, they're gonna be too big for you. You're gonna get a baggy ass and baggy knees and baggy which crotch is area. What a mom jean would do. Yeah. Which is why we're not a massive fan of the mom jean. Not a fan. They're just very baggy and like... Yeah, I mean, if you like a really, really baggy jean, get a mom jean. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for that like... Flattering. Flattering, slim fit in between a skinny and a mom. Yeah. Happy medium. I don't want to feel a little bit snug. And give them a little bit of a... You do the denim dance. The denim dance. dance the denim yeah. dance. I do this in fitting rooms. I jump around. Yeah. I go like this. I bend. I start like lifting my knees up, doing lunges. I do have to now. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> so yeah definitely have a little move around and buy the ones that feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit snug yeah. at first because they are gonna give there is a lot of stretch and a lot of giving them so i definitely recommend doing that yes and last concludes our top shop haul so yeah have them finish it off nicely always we've never always. done a vlog without mentioning the straight leg jeans holy grail of denim um yeah so we will as always link everything down below for you let us know in the comments uh what you like what you didn't like if there's anything that you uh, think we should keep send back or if there's any items that you guys have got with me 20 percent off we'd love to know that if there's any other ways we can style them let us know keep an eye out on the outfits and let us know in the comments below as always uh, don't forget again to like this video and subscribe it's you over there click the button <laughs> come on it takes two seconds you know, trying to get to 1k <laughs> subscribers that is the goal is the please goal. help us along the way and click subscribe if you like this video as always we'd love to know your ideas for any other future videos that you'd like to see in the comments below so please let us know we always love hearing from you guys about ideas on different videos that we can do um, yeah. So we have got another exciting video coming up next week. We're going to be filming a little lookbook for you guys. This is the first one that we've ever done and we're very excited to yes. film it for you. Very so excited. So stay tuned for next week and for that one to come up. And also a very, very exciting beauty giveaway is coming up yes. in the next couple of weeks. So you've got to make sure you subscribe to win all sorts of amazing beauty yes, it is goodies. A good box. It's a very big box full of beauty goodies, lots of amazing brands. So if you would like to get your hands on that and win that, subscribe, stay tuned to our videos over the next couple of weeks and you will get all the details of that. So until next time, we hope you like this video. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Winston, what's wrong? Are you stuck? Are you in doggy jail?
How did you get in there? <coughs> What's the matter? <coughs>